Next, I'd like to look at number 113 in the book, which is Sea Shanty. The interesting thing about this one is that it is not in 4-4 time, it is in 3-4 time, meaning that there are three quarter notes or three counts per measure. So we can't use this red piece anymore as our measure. We need to use something that's one count shorter. So I'm going to use this gray brick. Just to prove that it's the correct length, I'm going to plop in three quarter notes to make sure that it fits properly, and it does. Another interesting thing about 3-4 is that we cannot use any whole notes in this piece because a whole note's four counts and it won't fit on there. The longest note duration we can use is the dotted half note, which is three counts. And if you look through C Shanty, you'll see that there are a few measures that have just a single dotted half note in those measures. When you perform that, you have to make sure that you play it for three full counts or three quarter notes long. One, two, three. So let's build these first rhythms in C Shanty. Starts off with a dotted quarter note, which is followed by a single eighth note, which makes total sense because now we have an even number of eighth notes, and then that's followed by a quarter note. If you scan through your music for C Shanty, you'll be able to find this rhythm used in several different measures. Even though the fingerings, the pitches might be different, you'll see the same rhythm several times in C Shanty. The second measure is one we've already built because it has three quarter notes. So let's throw those in now. One, two, three. So those are the first two measures of C Shanty. The third measure is the same as the first, so we can just keep that one there. And then something kind of interesting happens in the fourth measure. In the fourth measure, we start off with a half note and we're going to represent that there and I'm actually going to place two quarter notes on top of that to show that we have the full value when you perform that half note it has to be two full counts long you can't cut it short and that's followed by two eighth notes so the third and fourth measure go like this T E E T TA TA T T So, if you look through the entire tune of C Shanty, these are the only four measures that are used throughout the whole tune. You've got dotted quarter, eighth quarter. In that fourth measure, again, you've got half note, two eighth notes. Some measures, you just have three quarter notes evenly across there. And then we have several measures that just have a dotted half note. So that is one of the main organizing pieces of this whole tune, is that there's a limited amount of rhythms that are used.